Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to discuss an example for the optimization problem. So a cylindrical container, so where we have a container, cylindrical, of the radius r. So where we have the r, the radius, and the height has a constant volume. The cost of the material for the surface of both its end is twice the cost of its side. So kindly refers to the situation where we have the side, meaning that the body and the top. So the situation said the cost of the material for the surface of both its end. So meaning that we have the ends where we have A is equals to pi r square and kindly refers to the side where we have a shape of rectangle given the circumference is 2 pi r and we have the h so the area for the body or the side will be a is equals to 2 pi r h so now we are going to write down the cost so where we have a cost for the material would be 2 pi r h for the body uh, plus with the top and the end 2 pi r square so hopefully you understand the meaning of pi r square refers to the top of the cylinder and another pi r square is referring to the bottom so we need to times 2 so in here they mention that the cost of the material for the surface of both its end so meaning that the top and the bottom is twice so we need to multiply by 2 of the cost of the side so where we have the side 2 pi r h so simplify where we have the cost is equals to 2 pi r h plus 4 pi r square next the question said state h in terms of R and V. So kindly refers to the situation where we have the formula V is equals to pi R square H. So in here they mention that the volume is constant. So now the question said state H in terms of R and V. So rewrite the situation H is equals to v over pi r squared then kindly substitute the situation into the cost so we will have cost is equals to 2 pi r multiply with the h and here we have the h equals to v over pi r squared plus before pi r squared simplify the situation and we will have 2v over r plus 4 pi r squared which is equals to the cos so this will be the step number one extract the info and then rewrite the situation and then next we are going to rewrite c is equals to 2v multiply with r to the power negative 1 plus 4 pi r square so this one consider as step number one Step number two, differentiate the cost with respect to R. And we will have DC DR is equals to negative 2V over R square plus 8 pi R. Next, rewrite the situation. DC DR is equals to negative 2V multiply with R to the power negative 2 plus 8 pi R. Next, we are going to find the second derivative. So where we will have the second derivative is equals to 4v over r cubed plus with 8 pi. The third step, we are going to find the critical value. So where we have the dc dr is equals to 0. So kindly substitute the situation and we will have 0 equals to negative 2v over r square plus 
8 pi r. Rearrange the situation. 2v over r squared is equal to 8 pi r. Rewrite the situation. So where we will have r q is equal to 2v over 8 pi. Then we will have r is equal to 2v over 8 pi with the cube root. Next, we are going to test the value with the second derivative. Kindly substitute the situation into the second derivative. So we will have the second derivative is equal to 4v over r cube. So where we have the r cube is 2v over 8 pi plus with the 8 pi. Simplify the situation and we will have 4v multiply with the 8 pi over 2v plus with the 8 pi. Finally, we will have 16 pi plus with the 8 pi. So as a conclusion, we will have the second derivative is equal to 24 pi, which is greater than 0. So it shows that the r is a minimum value. So kind of refers to the question. The question states that find h and r in terms of v such that the cost is minimum. So we already fulfilled the situation and we know that the r is equals to cube root of 2v over 8 pi. So now kindly refers to the situation. So previously we have v is equals to pi r square h for the cylinder. Previously we already have the formula for the cylinder where we have v is equals to pi r square h. Then the question asks us to state the h in terms of v and r. So we will have h is equals to v over pi r squared. Next we are going to substitute the value of r which is the minimum value. So h is equals to v over pi r squared and we will have 2v over 8 pi to the power of 2 over 3. Kindly rewrite the situation. h is equal to v over pi multiply with 8 pi over 2v to the power of 2 over 3. So simplify the situation and we will have v to the power of 1 multiply with 4 pi to the power of 2 over 3 over pi multiply with v to the power of 2 over 3. Kindly simplify the situation. So we will have v to the power of 1 over 3. Simplify the situation and we will have pi to the power of 2 over 3 divided by pi. So we will have 4 to the power of 2 over 3 over pi to the power of 1 over 3. Kindly simplify the situation and we will have 4 squared multiply with v over pi to the power of 1 over 3 as a h. So finally, h is equal to 16 v over pi to the power of 1 over 3. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing to this channel and share this video to your friend. Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.